Okay guys, um, welcome to an episode of Stuck Between Walk and Hard Place. Today's guest is Twiggy Baker. Good to have you on the show. Not good enough. Alright, we'll get straight into it. You're obviously, um, you know, one of the household names in big wave surfing at the moment. Some people would say kind of like the, the Lane Beachley of big wave surfing. H how do you feel about that? Well, household name is... Uh it's a broad, sweeping term. Kay. I would say uh, John Smith is a household name. What I about wouldn't say Lame Beachley is a Lame household Beachley, name. Yeah. <laughs> I had to bring her up. You know, you know what I think about girls surfing. You know, surfing big waves, how do you get yourself to get amped up to go surf, you know, surf 10 foot boards and just go straight? <laughs> well, you had a, a great comment before the One Wave Wonder started this year and you said uh, you don't want to see anyone going straight on big waves and that kind of blew us all out the water. Hence the no handshaking in this uh, interview, Warwick. Yeah, but you came back with with the slabs. The slabs. You're still going straight though. Yeah, but you're Just pulling in, in the, the barrel. Yeah, it's good to see that. <laughs> um, you did, did you vote for me? I voted for you on this one actually. How did I lose that fucking thing? Yeah, I don't know. Someone shocked you. <laughs> I think he's off you. So yeah. We got to come back. We mm. got to come back. Now, who, like, in your opinion, who thinks better out of this, yourself than Greg Long? Um. Depends if I'm surfing in America or in South Africa. If you're in South Africa. I think uh, Greg would agree that I'd take him at Dungeons. Okay. But I wouldn't touch him at Toto Santos. But you know, you've, you know, through all your big wave achievements, uh, do you feel that's the reason that you're dating a Playboy model now? <laughs> I would say the only reason I'm dating a Playboy mo model is because I surf. Now, how do you feel about your girlfriend's career? Are you a, a jealous at all? No, we're actually talking about it this morning. I'm not a jealous person. Even when I see on Facebook surrounded by seven young lifeguards on North Beach in one of those weird poses, I didn't get like an fucking jealous at all. Not an awkward situation. You've been chasing more of the, the slabby type of waves than going straight. Uh, you just did a trip with, <laughs> with Ant-Man. How, how did that go down? Uh, that didn't go so well. I did get a good wave out of it, but uh, almost lost Ant-Man. And he's got three kids and a very... Uh, would have had a very angry wife at home if I had to go tell her that uh, I'd lost, lost little Ant-Man. So uh, I kind of reassessed my whole slab situation there. Big wave surfers on a whole, do you, um, do you feel that they're not really that good at surfing? Um, I think a lot of them aren't going to make the WCT. But then a lot of good surfers don't make the WCT. You were one of them. Simon Nicholson, Sean Holmes, a lot of good surfers out there that could be really good big wave surfers, top, top yeah. big wave surfers. So I think it's like a balance, you know. I think the top guys like Greg Long, I mean, he's won, you know, OP Junior Pros. Uh, Mark Healy is a very good surfer. Shane Dorian is, uh, you know, I think speaks for himself. So if you want to be a top, top big wave surfer, I think you also have to be pretty good in the small stuff. But, yeah, there's, I mean, a lot of guys that have just got the Pooh Man stance and, and the balls and, uh, just go you know. That's my next question. People do say that most, the majority of big wave surfers um, are actually Navy SEALs. Uh, I don't know any. No? Navy SEALs. I know some He-Men. I yeah. mean, fuck, you go down to the Cape and you meet guys down there that are, you know, maybe not the best surfers, but pretty much the best watermen you'll ever meet. Okay. Hardcore guys, good looking, rugged. Hippie. Hardcore. Hippies. Couple hippies. Yeah. I don't like hippies, but uh, I wouldn't hang out with them, but. Uh, I hate hippies. Fucking hippies. Fucking hippies. Where do you think big wave surfing is going, and do you think it'll eventually be considered as an extreme sport? <laughs> um, I think we're going to be going straighter and straighter on bigger and bigger waves. Longer boards? The longer board has come back. I mean, you know, there's a few of us there who try to bring a, a shorter board in and get more high performance, but this last season was just a nightmare. Guys on 11 sixes and shit again, so to compete on a shorter board is pretty difficult. But uh, I'm going to plug away with my kind of weird design, my fun boards, the guys call them. Uh, shorter, thicker, and wider. And um, I don't know. I mean, hopefully we're going to go more high performance but because the waves are getting bigger and bigger jaws i mean you saw dave wassell's winning wave just dead straight you know yeah. uh 
this is something I'm sure a lot of people would like to know. You often go on secret missions, telling no one. You pack up your girlfriend a camera and just go get bailed. Uh, why don't you want to share? I've never been good at sharing. Even when I was a kid, I wasn't good at sharing. And my favorite thing in surfing is to come back from a good trip with excellent video footage and great photographs and then kind of rub it in people's noses. That's exactly what you've been doing for <laughs> as long as I can, as long as I know you. Um, last question, true or false, uh, Big Wave Server, do they have three lungs? Um, well, Hayden Lung Larero was never a Big Wave Surfer. He only had one lung. One lung. Do you know one lung? I thought he had one ball. No, one lung. Wetty only had one ball. Um, um, any last words, anything you'd like to say to anyone? Um, yeah, just keep up the good work, Wok. I see we both in the new men's health together. <laughs> I'm riding a 60-foot wave and you're looking very uh, elegant in a <laughs> nice beige outfit. <laughs> well, I'm not supposed to laugh in these things, Twiggy. <laughs> Fuck, you know. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> Give me a pound. <laughs> not. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>